So he's only been in office for a couple hours and the first thing he does is remove the permits for the Keystone Pipeline. Yes, Joe Biden has just signed this executive order and one of the other things that was on the order that forces everyone to do is actually hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. So there's supposed to be a 2,000 kilometer pipeline going from Alberta to Nebraska. Per day, the pipeline was gonna be transporting 830,000 barrels of oil. It was expected to cost 800 billion US dollars and now nothing. Permits revoked. President Trump had agreed to this expansion in January of last year. But now that President Biden is in office, the whole deal has been rescinded. Biden believes and he ran on these campaign policies that it's gonna be very pollutant. And with that, he doesn't even think that there's gonna be any damage to the oil industry. Our Prime Minister Justin Trudeau calls the move very disappointing. This is likely gonna affect workers in Alberta and Saskatchewan. I myself, and this is a real estate channel, I had rental properties in Alberta and I'm super glad that I sold my property this year because Alberta is such a boom and bust market and with the new president coming in, you just never know what's gonna happen there. One day you're employed and the next day you're looking for work. Justin Trudeau says he looks forward to working with President Biden to reduce pollution, combat climate change, fight COVID-19, create middle class jobs, and build back better by supporting a sustainable economic recovery for everyone. Of course, the Alberta Premier Jason Kenney was deeply disturbed by this all because a lot of people in his province are going to be losing their jobs. He felt it was an economic gut punch to Albertans and Canadians. The Premier is asking Justin Trudeau to be sitting down with Biden to see if they can work something out still. If the US government fails to actually sit down and have a meaningful conversation with Canada, we're going to have no choice but to have some sanctions against the USA, starting with the very first one, banning all Drake music in America because they love him so much. He's ours. Obviously, America and Canada have one of the greatest relationships we share a giant border, but we're not going to agree on everything every time. But what we do always agree upon is hitting the like button on YouTube videos. Some of the very first things that President Biden will be doing will be calling his allies, and he has a call with Prime Minister Trudeau on Friday, January 22nd. No doubt they will be discussing the pipeline on the call and if the Toronto Maple Leafs can actually win the Stanley Cup this year. And with that, if you guys want $10 of free stocks, make sure you use my link in the description for Wealth Simple. If you deposit $100 and trade within the app, you get $10 for free. And if you are new here, make sure you guys hit the like button, you hit the subscribe button, and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.